Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have this time is the Mazaki Shidogami or white number two Kudauchi finished Gyuto 210 millimeter knife. So this line of knives has a core cutting edge uh, steel. The hard steel is Shidogami white paper number two reactive high carbon steel. Heat treat is about 61 and 62 Rockwell on that core steel. That's typically the target. The construction on either side of that hard core steel, you've got a soft stainless cladding for a little bit lower maintenance. So the steel peeking out from the edge is reactive, but the rest is stainless for a little bit easier maintenance. And uh, you've also got a, an applied Kuduchi or blacksmith kind of finish, protective finish on the uh, cladding as well. The weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife. These tend to be fairly large knives. so. The weight on this one is 221 grams or 7.8 ounces. The edge length is 250, so it's a pretty good sized blade. A uh, little under 10 inches, so about 9.85 or so. The overall length is about 15 and a half inches. And then the other characteristic of these is they're fairly tall. This one's about 53.7 millimeters at the heel, so you got a lot of clearance there. And then the other characteristic of these is that they are pretty thick coming out of the handle, but then they thin out nicely and have a pretty continuous taper. So that's a really excellent blacksmithing and excellent tapering on the knife construction. So I'm getting about 4.9 millimeters back here, uh, kind of where it comes out of the handle, but then it thins out quickly and they, all of them do that. The uh, thickness about halfway down was about two and a half millimeters. And then I got about 1.7, about an inch and a half from the end. And then you can see it thins out even more towards the tip. They've polished the tip a little bit. Uh, the spine is, is covered with that KU finish, but uh, they polished the tip to meet the edge um, to give you a nice sharp pointy tip on there. So that's just some finish work. The handle is octagonal oak with a buffalo horn ferrule. And the handle's fairly slim. I got about 72 millimeters or 2.8 inches right here where the wood starts to come into the uh, buffalo horn. And so it's a fairly slim handle. Uh, they do a nice job of meeting the choil into the neck here, so you've got a smooth transition there for your finger. So it really, your finger just pops right in there for a pinch grip, so it's a very comfortable for a pinch grip. Let's get our beauty shot on these. So all of the five blades I've got, I've got five different blades in this batch, and all of them have very clean grinds. So they've got straight blades, um, nice finish work, so they're, they're very consistent. That's good to see out of a maker. So here's the left side of the blade as you would hold it. It's a little hard to see, but there is a hand chiseled kanji. This one's even harder to see than the 210. I don't even know if I can show it to you, but there is a hand chiseled kanji in there, um, hand engraved. It's, it looks like what they did was engrave it, sand it, and then put the kudauchi on it. So that kind of fills in the engraving. So it's a little hard. This particular knife is the hardest one out of the five I've got to tell but there is some um, hand engraved kanji there. They've done some finish work on the spine, so it's, it's rounded a little bit. Obviously it's not polished. It probably is polished underneath, but you've got that K finish on there, but that's nice and smooth. They've smoothed out the corners on both sides of the choil into the neck, so that's nice and smooth, so very comfortable. The out of the box edge, I'm giving these about a five out of 10. The reason is they're pretty sharp. However, what they do is they grind it right down to the edge. It really isn't a secondary edge bevel on there. And I'm thinking you're going to want to put your own edge on these and put a secondary bevel on there just to kind of clean it up a little bit and reinforce that edge. Uh, a few of them have a little bit of a spot here and there. This one doesn't, but a couple of them did. I went ahead and put an edge on the 210 and the steel sharpened up beautifully. Uh, super easy to sharpen, takes a nice edge. The uh, balance point on this with the handle is going to be a little bit further forward because it's a pretty big blade, but there's your balance point. And pinch grip for me is a little bit behind that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it does feel like you got a little bit of knife in your hand, and it is, like I said, it's a pretty, pretty decent sized blade. The profile looks like this. And every knife can be just a little bit different, but their profiles have been pretty similar between the blades. So that's, again, good to see. You kind of know what you're going to get to a degree. So you've got just a little bit of a flat at the back. Kind of rolls into it, uh, not a huge flat spot, but there on this particular one, you could take a little bit of that out and flatten it out a little bit more if you wanted to. 
you've got a kind of a fairly low medium tip uh, position on it so I'm not going to get super high on this I'm getting in about right there before I start digging the tip in you could tweak the tip a little bit in the last couple millimeters with a sharpening job and upsweep it and give yourself a little more clearance if you felt the need for it if you like to rock so this thing would rock nicely um, push pull cuts definitely glide cuts those kind of things and then a little bit of chopping towards the back so pretty versatile profile <coughs> So these are just, I, I've been using the 210, it works great, it's a very high performance. This should just be very similar to that, maybe a tick behind, but they're pretty thin at the edge, uh, they're very thin at the tip, and uh, nice grinds on them, and just really, really good performance. So this is a really nice line of knives. So this is the Mazaki Shirogami, or uh, white number two, Kuruchi Guto 240 millimeter knife.